Hey guys, it's Miss Timpson here. I just wanted to record a quick video for you guys. Um, I'm going to be going through page 75. Um, I'm going to be looking at numbers 1 through 6. And these questions are very much like the questions that are going to be on your next assignment. And so we're going to start with question 1. And... Um, we're going to work our way through question six. Okay, so in question one, um, they have already started the process of solving this equation for you. Um, first thing that I want you to remember, and I'm going to try to scroll up on my page to give myself a little bit of room to write right here. I'm going to write down PEMDAS. Remember that's please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That means parentheses or exponents or not parentheses or exponents, parentheses, brackets, or braces. Okay, next is exponents. That's kind of like 10 to the second power, like you studied um, on a couple worksheets pr previously. The M stands for multiplication. The D stands for division. The A stands for addition. And the S stands for subtraction. Okay, now remember that addition and subtraction are inverse operations. So that means that you will solve whichever comes first in that equation when reading that equation from left to right. Like just like you read a book from left to right. Same thing with multiplication and division. Multiplication and division are inverse operations or opposite operations. So you will do whichever one comes first in the equation from left to right, okay? If there is grouping symbols or parentheses, brackets, or braces present in an equation, you will always do those first. You will do what is, whatever operations are inside those parentheses first. Exponents, you will solve exponents second, and then you choose which one comes first between these two, then which one comes first between these two. So let's look at an example. On number one, they have already started this for you. You can see that my first step is solve my parentheses, okay? So I'm going to knock out the, this first. 15 minus 5, that is 10. They've already wrote that down for me, okay? Um, I make sure that my operation, which is right here, drops down. And next I'm solving 9 minus 3 is 6. Okay, so I'm going to fill that in. Notice how when I solve what's inside the parentheses, it's like the parentheses go away. But I still have things left in the brackets. So I still have 10 plus 6 inside the brackets. I'm not finished with parentheses until, or the P and PEMDAS, until I solve 10 plus 6. So 10 plus 6, that is 16. I'm going to fill that in. Notice how each time this 12 is just being brought down. Since it's outside of the grouping symbols, it's being just brought down in the equation until we're ready for that. Then 12 plus 16, you might set that up on the side. Remember, you're adding your ones first. 2 plus 6 is 8, and 1 plus 1 is 2. So 28 is my answer for number 1. Moving on to number 2. Same thing, parentheses first. So I have two sets of parentheses that are grouped together in one set of brackets. So if I solve 26 minus 4, I get 22. I'm going to fill that in right below um, that equation. What is 4 plus 6? Answer is 10. I'm going to bring down my subtraction sign. Because I solved what was in the parentheses. I did not subtract this total minus the second total. I'm going to bring down my brackets. And I'm also, I cannot forget about this five times that was on the outside. Now, I'm in my second step, and I still have brackets, which is a grouping symbol that falls under the P and PEMDAS. So I need to solve that first. So, tw 22 minus 10, that is 12. 
I bring down my 5 times, so 5 times 12. That's one of our multiplication facts that we should know. 5 times 12 is 60. Okay. Let's look at number 3. Solve your parentheses first. I personally like marking things out when I'm finished with them. It helps me stay on track. Um, it also helps me remember whatever is not marked out is something that I need to bring down to the next line. So eight my, 18 minus 10, that is 8. Notice I'm writing that right underneath that group of parentheses to keep me on track. 8 minus 6 is 2. Writing it also right below that set of parentheses. Now I'm going to bring everything else down. I'm bringing down my minus sign. I'm bringing down my brackets. I'm bringing down the 36. I'm also bringing down this division sign. In the parentheses, or in the brackets, we still have 8 minus 2. 8 minus 2 is 6. Bring down my 36. Bring down my division sign. 36 divided by 6. That's the same thing as asking yourself the question, what times 6 gives me 36? The answer is 6. Feel free to pause this video at any time when you're like, oh, where did she get that? Or what did she do just then? That's the beauty of videos. You're able to pause and play, reverse, rewind, whatever you need to do in order to make sense of how the problem is being solved out. Okay. So... I'm now going to delete what is on this slide, and we are going to move down a little bit. These equations get bigger, and number six I will have to write out somewhere totally different because it's not laid out in like an equation format since it had to drop down a line. So, let's look at number four. Take care of your parentheses first. I'm going to write PEMDAS here again. This keeps me on track. Okay. First things first, parentheses, so 16 minus 4, that is 12. 12 minus 9, that is 3. Bring it down. Still have grouping symbols, so 12 plus 3 is 15. Don't forget about your 4 plus 15, that is 19. Number 5. 10 minus 7 is 3. 16 minus 9, that is 7. Okay, plus, don't forget your grouping symbols, 24 minus, okay, we brought everything else down. Now we have 3 plus 7 is 10. 24 minus 10, that is 14. We're going to look at number six, and I'm going to clear the rest of this board because I feel like I'm going to need some room. Um, I'm just going to write it from here three times. This is a brace, bracket, parentheses. Notice I'm going to write it down exactly the same way they have it written down. I'm try to fit it. Might have to move my little. Um, well, there we go. Okay. Whoa. This is as big as it gets. And they might throw um, two to three of these at you for your EOG um, if we have those. Right now, we are still supposed to have them. Um, However, you might see um, two to three of these on the EOG. You will see these on your Chapter 1 test. Um, there's not going to be a, a whole lot of these. However, we still need to be able to do these. You are still going to use PEMDAS. And you're just going to take this long equation one step at a time. We're going to break it down into simple terms. Okay? So, first things first. Take care of our P and PEMDAS. So I have 12 minus 8, that is 4. Okay, this is gone. I have 11 minus 9, that is 2. That is gone. Bring everything down.
double check that you have brought everything down. Okay, next, um, four times two, we'll knock that out first, that is eight. Then two times three, that is six, bring everything down. Notice how we're making the big equation. We're solving one small equation at a time. And we're just making sure we solve it in the correct order. Okay? So, 8 plus 6, that is 14. Bring down your 3 times. We do not have to know up to our 14. So, this equation you might not know off the top of your head. I would suggest solve it out on the side. You would do 3 times 4, that's 12. And 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So then 3 times 14 is 42. Look at all that hard work. Okay, so on these questions, obviously, we have to show our work. Um, I have to know that you understand how to solve the equation and find your answer. Um, there is a chance that these questions might pop up on a calculator active section. However, even if they do, if you type this equation into the calculator wrong, if your calculator does not have all the grouping symbols that are included, or if you know you type it in by sections but you do not follow the order of operations, that is a, a place to get that question wrong. But if we just take this big problem and chunk it into smaller problems, then we can do it. We can follow the order of operations and find that answer with no problem. Okay, so this assign or this um, short video will help you with your next assignment okay you guys have a good rest of your day